it can foam, that's for sure. Hey there, internet, Keith here, and welcome to the Cars and Keith YouTube channel. In this video, we're reviewing another pressure washer, if you couldn't already have guessed. This is the Portland 1750. Now, I've walked by this in Harbor Freight many, many times. Now, many of you have messaged me about this unit saying that it is really, really good, has amazing numbers for the price at 94 bucks. It's available for 112 on Amazon, 94 at Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight has a better return policy. Uh, that would be the only reason I really wasn't thinking about it, but you guys sent me enough messages and now we're gonna try it out. The biggest problem for a wash cart is it's tall. Uh, it's not a slender small model like the 1700 Greenworks that I've been thinking about using for this build. Um, we're gonna see, I might just give you two options. Uh, I'm gonna have to modify this to fit it in the cart, but uh, we're gonna put it through the ringer. So before we get any further, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. Let's see what's in the box. Got your slinky hose, proprietary connection for the wand. You have a little uh, foam soap dispenser. It's not really a cannon. Here's the beginning of the gun. It's kind of weird. Uh, it's got a little safety. It actually feels heavy. It feels solid. It's just different. And also, the hose goes in the bottom here. That's actually better outside that it's a proprietary connection. Got your handle. Yeah, the extension to the wand. Another bad thing about this unit is you only have the one nozzle type out of the box. We have our instructions. And actually, on the back is a very important part of your instructions. This is the nozzle clearing tool. That tool will help you if you ever start up a pressure washer and something happens and it decides that it wants to pulsate or the water doesn't come out well, a lot of times when the manufacturing process there's little pieces of dirt, metal, and all that build up in there and they go all out through the unit and they end up coming out the tip right here. And that's to help clear the tip. Got our unit, anything else? And another plastic piece, looks to hold the hose or something like that. So you have four holes on the front, one here, 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 and here. Now, it does come with screws. I didn't show that earlier. That's to hold this handle right here. Now, I don't prefer this handle because it's still not tall enough. I still have to bend over to move it. That way, you don't have to use any screws. And you still have a handle right here. It's just fine. You have two holes at the top, one to hold your gun, and one to hold your extension. So for the foam cannon on the back, there's a little hole right here on the back of this plastic piece. You put it in this way and then it turns down and that way it'll hang off and hold onto the back. So all in all, pretty good construction. It's actually not that tall. I think it'll fit in the cart. Um, the wheels, and eh, not a big fan of them, really plasticky. The hose has a good spot. I like how the foam cannon's held. I like you can store all this stuff. So we're gonna put a quarter inch quick disconnect mail in into the bottom of the unit down here where the water flow comes in. I have my hose with a shutoff valve, so that way I can shut off water here and not at the house. It's only six bucks. I'll be a link below. There we go. Okay, so plastic hose. It's just in one of those cheap hoses. You gotta deal with it. Uh, it does have an M22 fitting. Not quite sure what size it is. It's a 14 millimeter or 15 millimeter. We'll find out here in a second when we do our upgrade. So this GFCI is just like the Active V 52 pressure washers. When you plug it in, it doesn't automatically turn on. You have to push the button to get it to do that. All the other pressure washers, they basically light up the minute you plug them in. Stock form of the gun is almost like any of the other ones that are cheaper. You basically just plug it in like this and then turn it and there you go. And it has a proprietary fitting at the bottom. You pull this out. Put it in there all the way, then you close it, and it's on there good. Let's do a length test. Okay, so we're too close to the back. I can't extend it all the way. And that is as close as I'm going to bring that to my car. I'm not gonna go any closer. This handle thing, watch. You got that, right? This is kind of spring-loaded until you hit the end. You either have one end or the other end. If you're in between, it stays there for a second, but if you touch it with your finger, it just retracts back. So you either have pinpoint or full fan. And I just got my lens all wet. <laughs> Here's one more problem. The fan isn't up and down, it's this way. I 
it is staying, but it does spring load back pretty quickly though. So I have the stock foam gun soap dispenser that comes with the unit. It filled up with straight G-Tech and G-Wash, 120 milliliters. So that way I can fill up the bottom, see how it does with full detergent. We'll put it in there and then turn it. It's actually not bad for out of the box. So let's add some water to it and see what it does. So I've added water up to the top here. And actually this unit, this clicks on pretty good and stays. Some of the other ones it's really loose. Let's uh, swish it around. More bubbles, but it is definitely thicker, just straight. But you're gonna be using a lot of soap. Well, this is a little Miracle Saver adapter you can get on Amazon for about 10, 12 bucks. Goes in the hole there, just like the foam cannon did. Turns sideways, turns this into a quarter inch quick disconnect and it's shorter. And we got the cheat code MJJC with G-Wash. I think it has a safety on it, it keeps, the button keeps getting pushed. It can foam, that's for sure. Rinse is pretty good. The unit has a nice sound to it. It's not an ugly sound. So here's the gun and the hose that I've chosen for this. I've done separate videos on those as well. Hopefully they come out before or just after this video. If they're after, then you get a sneak peek. Uh, it's just a pretty decent uh, little gun here. It was 30 bucks with a cheap $10 foam can. It helps us keep our budget good for the uh, wash guard. A nice, uh, about a $50 hose. Comes with uh, both connections on this and also comes with a M22 female connection. And we're gonna hope that this is a 14 millimeter. Oh yeah. Gotta love 14 millimeters. So now, since this is a female quick disconnect in, and this comes with this hose as well, then I'll plug this in, and then we'll be able to plug our gun directly into our hose without changing any fittings or anything, right out the boxes. So we got a whole bunch of nozzles here. I got a 1.0, I got a 2.5, I got a 2.6, 1.0. Seventeen fifty. Check the amps. Fourteen one. And uh, I smell a little something. I don't think it likes that. <laughs> so it can do seventeen fifty at fourteen point one amps. So this is a two five. Eleven hundred psi. This is a 2.6. I think this might be the sweet spot. This is hard to find. This came with an Amazon pressure washer and it had a 2.6 fitting with it. Ten fifty. Almost perfect right there. Three pedal nozzle. Like 9.25. Alright, so empty bucket. One minute on the clock. 2.5 nozzle downs per minute test. So is this as awesome as all my subscribers are telling me? I think so. Wow, look at that. We are a 1.4, 1.42, something like that. Empty bucket again, 3.0 nozzle. Let's check it out. One minute on the clock. One and a half gallons per minute. At 925, it was moving up towards 950. That's some pretty dang good numbers. All right, let's do the final one. This is a 3.5, probably about 750, 800 PSI. One minute on the clock, empty bucket. So 
So it was steady at 750 PSI the whole time. Not enough for that initial rinse or even the rinse after the foam, but the very final, final rinse, that's pretty good. You can swap the nozzles out and get that. Let's see what GPM it got. Looks like about 1.6, uh, 1.62 gallons per minute. That is pretty good. So with those numbers, this is definitely a keeper. Uh, we're gonna see what we can do. Let's see if it fits in the cart. It actually does. And we got a good bit of room left. So this is the output. So if you had a reel on this side or hooks for a hose, I would work this way. Uh, and that way the hose can come out, jumper hose to a reel if you want to do a reel. This is the old wash cart, like I said, it's the metal one, the new one's gonna be plug carbonate. But this lips pretty tall and the garden hose port is right here. So you probably have to run, uh, drill a hole like I've done in previous ones or run an elbow up and out so that way you can come in and give yourself enough room. But it works. So my final thoughts. This is definitely the unit I think I really want to push for this cart. It's $94. It is 112 on Amazon. There'll be a link below. But Harbor Freight has these for 94 bucks. They have a great return policy. So if you have one near you, you can also go to the online store as well. It's a pretty dang good unit. Now, out of the box, you are going to need to get this adapter right here if you're going to want to make anything out of this unit. This adjustable thing right here, this is nothing. And this is why on Amazon, the reviews are kind of low for this because this really makes it to where this is unusable. Once you take this adapter, link below, for 12 bucks, 10 bucks, it's going to turn this into a great unit. And actually, it makes the gun kind of short nosed. It's not bad. And the numbers are really awesome for this unit. So don't forget to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, browse the channel, and I'll see you next video. Now, many of you messaged me and now many of now many of you deemed, uh, uh, because I've heard this really good, oh my god, come on now, come on now, come on now, doesn't make it not as tall, um, it is, uh, god damn it, really, really good, whoa, whoa, oh, I found the blue tip that I lost the other day, and that's to hold the prongs from this handle, sit, this height, it's not, you still have to reach, you still have to, you still have to bend over. You still have to bend over. Oh my gosh. All right, so we're gonna put a quarter inch wick of this. You can hear out there, that wind is nasty right now. GFCI, when you plug it in. Push the button to arm it. it oh my God, did I just break my freaking finger doing that? What? And it has a proprietary fitting at the bottom. You just. you kidding me? What are you doing, you stupid piece of junk? Not the same as all the other guns about. Uh, we gotta clean this lens off. This is all stuff you gotta do that everybody is thinking, oh, this must be so easy to do these videos. You know, if you make a mistake, you have to do this bucket again. And then you gotta do it again. And you gotta do it again.